Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to solve one of the Python coding question, which was recently asked in interview. The question is a two sum problem. So they have given one list like this and they also have given one target that is a seven. Now what is the question is like two sum means we have to do a sum of all the two combination. So suppose if I'm doing two plus three, whether it is equal to the seven or not, it is not equal to the seven, right? Similarly, if I'll do three plus four, whether it is equal to the seven, if it is equal to the target, right? Then what actually I should do? I should return the index. What is the index of three and four? It is a one and two, right? This is the index. So that actually I have to return. Similarly, I will check this conditor four plus seven, whether it is equal to the target or not, it is not equal. If I'll do five, and the two, it is equal to the seven, right? In this case, what actually I should do? I should return this index. What is the index of the two? That is a zero. What is the index of the five? It is a five. So that is the question. Means all the two combination we have to do. We have to check whether it is equal to the target or not. If it is equal, then we have to return their indexes. So that is a problem. So what actually we will do? Uh, we will try to create a one a dictionary and also I will create one empty list. So there. I will try to store this now because we require their indexes, right? So what I will use for I num in enumerate. So I am using enumerate because we require an index because we require an index. So I am iterating it and uh, if I will do print print I and num, let me show you what actually it is returning. What actually I am doing? I am uh, iterating, but I am using an enumerate so that I will get their index as well as the uh, the number also. So you can see whatever the number we have, right? It's returning the index also, at, and also it is returning the number. I means their index, num means the number. Now after that, I will write one condition. I will check if target minus num in D. Let me first write and then after that I will explain you. If target minus num in D, then what I will do? I will try to append new dot append D target minus num and the index. Otherwise, what we will do? Otherwise, uh, we will do D num equal to the I. D num equal to the I. Now, if I will try to print new let's see if we are getting a output or not what actually we are looking for uh, let's first debug and then we will try to understand what is the logic actually i'm applying so you can see we are getting the output one plus two this condition if i'll do i'll get seven similarly five plus two if i'll do i'll get the seven so i'm returning their indexes that was the problem let's try to understand so what i'm doing i'm first iterating it through a new enumerate so that I will get the index as, as well as well as the number after that I am writing one condition if target minus num in D what is our target target is 7 what is the number so we are iterating the number one by one right so what is the first number it is a 2 so first it will check whether 7 minus 2 in D or not 7 minus 2 is 5 right whether 5 is available or not it is not available so it will skip this condition and uh, what it, it will do D num means whatever the number we have right 2 and the 0 it will return 2 and the 0 it will return now coming to the next then it will check whether 7 minus 3 7 minus 3 equal to the 4 right whether 4 is available here or not 4 is not available so it will skip this condition and what actually it will do 3 and 1 it actually it will return coming to the next 7 minus 4 7 minus 4 equal to the 3 right whether 3 is available in a D or not, 3 is available, 3 is available, right? Then in this case, it will come into this condition and what actually it will do? It will return the index of this as well as the, what is the target minus num. What is the index of 3 it will return and also what is the index of the this 4 it will return. So I am getting the 1 and 2. I am getting the 1 and 2. When I am doing a 7 minus 4, 3, whether 3 is available here or not, it is available, right? So it will come into this condition. Now, what actually we are doing append here? D target minus num. What is the index of what is the index of this? So that we have to return index of this is 1. That actually we are returning. And what is the index of the 4? That is a, a 2. So that is the thing we are returning. 
so this is the logic actually we have applied try to do a debugging and try to do a practice you will get a better idea there are multiple ways to solve the same question you also try to solve in a different approach or you can follow this i hope you got the idea